let's go ahead and do the calculations and graphing for procedure A. I have already started and put the data into Microsoft Excel. You can see not only for time versus temperature and total energy, but also uh, I put in my mass of my clean dry kettle and my mass of my kettle filled with water. We don't need that for the graphing, but uh, I just wanted to put all my data for this part in one place. Now, um, and to get this data, I actually recorded uh, the data just like I did uh, for you. Uh, this is a separate trial, so the data is not gonna be the same, but it will allow me to show you the graphing process so you can do your own graphs. Uh, so I've got time versus temperature, and it says, uh, uh, one, cumulative energy is the sum or running total of the energy. Make two graphs of the data, temperature versus time. And so to do that, you're gonna click and drag over all the data for time and temperature. And it is important that you put time on the left because whatever's on the left will be the x-axis and temperature versus time. So the y is usually listed first and the x-axis is usually listed second and that's what we've done here. So time versus temperature, highlight the data, go to the insert menu, and go to the graphing section, and then you want X, Y scatter, and then you're gonna do points, and your data, your graph appears like this. And you can see, whenever you click on the graph, it shows you right here what data is being graphed. Now it says, make sure that your graphs have a title, axes, labels with units, and are generally pretty readable. Well, uh, let's start with axes, uh, oh, a title. So. Uh, what I'm going to do here is this is going to be temperature. And all I did here is I double clicked on this and it allows me to change it. And I want to save that part. Now I'm just scrolling over temperature versus time. And capital time is fine too. But in science, temperature is almost always capital T and time is almost always lowercase t. And so uh, it's a convention that I even try and do in my titles. Again, capital time or lowercase time, either way is fine, uh, for heating water. That's a good title. It's pretty descriptive on, uh, and yet not too long. Describes your axes and what we're doing. Now for the other parts, you're going to have to go up to this add chart element menu. When you click on it, you'll see there are so many things that you can do. Um, in particular, uh, I want axes titles and my primary horizontal is down here. This is going to be time in uh, time. And then I put parentheses and then S for seconds. I'll do my vertical and double clicking to highlight this, clicking and dragging to highlight the whole title. And this is going to be a temperature. Uh, and I did put the capital T down there. Uh, and now I'm going to do a zero, a lowercase zero for degrees, because I don't know how to do uppercase, and that's going to have to do okay. And I'm going to have to come back to this and just put lowercase time. Either way is fine. Okay, so now I've got axes labels, uh, units with my labels too, and that's a good graph. Um, in particular, let's see, things that I like to do is I like to get rid of my, uh, where's my graph? There we go, chart. Uh, so hold on here. I can't see my top here, so I'm gonna drag this down a little bit. And now I'm gonna go to insert. Oh, I'm gonna go to chart. And here's my chart design option. So I'm gonna go to chart there, add chart element. And I don't like grid lines on my graph, so I'm gonna take them off. This is personal preference, by the way. And if I click on this and then go to my home menu, uh, oh, it's still under chart design, format. No, oh, it's under format. I like a nice square around mine. So now it's got a nice dark square around it. Everything else is fine. This is a good graph. Now let's do the next one. The next one is, oh, Yes, and then we'll answer the questions in number two. The next one is going to be cumulative energy, or it says total energy here. 
Uh, maybe I can change that to cumulative, which is another word for total. Either one works. But now it matches the actual procedure here, the calculations. Chemo of energy versus temperature. Click and drag to highlight the data. Go to insert, X, Y, scatter, points. And you can see that the data here is color coded for the data on our graph. This is going to be cumulative energy versus temperature for heating water. And now I'm going to go to my add chart element and add axes titles for these. Double click down here. Now I've got temperature, right? Degrees C, add my vertical axis. This is gonna be cumulative energy in kilowatt hours, like so. And uh, again, things I like to do is I like to get rid of my grid lines. So we get rid of grid lines. Should be checked there and it's not, but it's still taking away. And then um, I'm going to go up to format and then click that. So I get a, oh, I get a nice dark line around the outside edge, but I do not have a dark line around either of these inside edges. This is all preference, but if you double click on this axis and you go to colors here, uh, line, I want my color of my line to be black. You can see that became darker than down here now. Double click down here, I get the same thing and I'm gonna to go to black here. And basically one of the nice things about Excel, it doesn't make the most beautiful graphs always, uh, but it does make graphs that are very customizable. Anything you click on, you can change the color. And so now everything in here, uh, oh, the one other thing I like to do is I like to do tick marks. So I'm gonna double click on my Y axis. I'm gonna go over to data here. And you can see that I can have tick marks and I like the inside kind like that. Same thing for my x-axis. Oh, yeah, I can see. I boxed these, uh, well, we can always undo things. Inside, there's tick marks. So see this? I put the box around it, so I don't want any box. Let's see if I can make this box go away now. No outline. There we go. No outline. And the text is so black. Maybe the text was black the whole time. Well, uh, there's a little bit more about how you can customize it. And I will allow you to customize it how you would like. These are the two graphs. And then the question number two says, answer the following questions about the graphs. Except for the first point or two, does the temperature versus time graph data approximately follow a straight line? I would suggest that it does. Same thing for the next question for cumulative energy versus temperature. And then if both of these graphs follow approximately straight lines, we can assume that we can calculate the temperature and cumulative energy uh, for any temperature of water or it should, uh, any time as well. Let's see what else we've got here. We'll do the rest of the calculations in the next video.